In this video, we're going to learn how to add the e-commerce store into your website. So to add the e-commerce store, I'm going to go to the beta version of the shopping cart right here. And when I click on it, it has a button that says create store. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it pulls up all of my layouts that I have. In this particular website, I only have one layout. If you had multiple layouts inside your website, they would show up and you could choose which layout you wanted to add your e-commerce store to. I'm going to choose the default layout and I'm going to click save. Once we do that, we need to make sure that we click the save right away in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to click save and then save and publish and confirm. And now what I've done is I've added the store and it's put a lot of stuff together inside that website for me. So let me show you what it's changed. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into the page icon. There's my default layout. I'm going to click the arrow and I want you to notice that we've got four pages, actually five pages that are green. These are the pages that were added by the system for your e-commerce store. So we've got a showcase page. If I click on that, that's this page right here. And it's showing the uh, items that are in your store. And these are showing default items that are already products that were added to your store. And you could go in and change those. It's also got a sidebar here where you can filter by category and you can filter by price range. The next page is the products page. And this is where it shows an individual product along with the description and any additional information and it will also show the pricing. The next one is the cart page. So once they add items to the cart, they can actually go into the cart page and see the products they have there and how much the total is. The next page is the checkout page. This is where the items are totaled and you set up the shipping address, the delivery options, and then the payment. And then the last added page for the e-commerce platform is the thank you page. And this is the thank you page that appears once they've made their purchase and they've gone through the payment process. So all of this is added by the system in the background after you choose to add to your store. So that's how you add the e-commerce platform into your website. I'll see you in the next video.